Here's a short video on how to adjust and service your air gap fill valve. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to adjust the height of the valve, how to adjust your water level. And following on from that, I'll show you how to disconnect the valve completely so we can service it and then simply clip it back together all in the following easy steps. So most systems should have a marked water line in them. You'll find that that's usually on the back wall of the system. And what you'll find with this valve generally in most conditions is you should be able to achieve that water line by adjusting the fine adjustment of the valve with this grey screw here. By winding that clockwise we can increase the water level, by winding it anti-clockwise we can decrease the water level. In some instances you might find that you're not getting enough water in your system and you need to raise that water level. So by doing that we need to adjust the height of the valve. We adjust the height of the valve by unlocking this chamber. On here you have an up and down arrow. We can simply unlock the valve by pulling the chamber up. I'm then grabbing the whole head of the valve, so that's all of it. And you can pull it up one click at a time. There's about six mil or a quarter of an inch for each adjustment. So we pull it up to roughly where we think we need to be. And then we can reclip and lock the valve back in position. We have about 40 mil of adjustment within the float, so you can roughly guide where you need to put your water level to. At some point, we may want to service the valve. It makes it easier if we can remove it from the system to service it. So first things first, turn your water supply off. We need to turn the water supply off because you don't want to be taking the head of the valve off when you've got your water on. So once we've turned the water supply off, as before, with the height adjustment, we pull the shrouded clip up. But on the back of the valve, we have this little tab. Now, we need to bend that tab out of the way and then continue to pull the chamber up that extra quarter of an inch. That will then unlock two locks that are further down on the mechanism. It then allows us to pull the whole valve up and off the stem and then we can work and service on the valve. So once we've had the valve out, we've cleaned it, serviced it, done what we need to do, we then need to reinstall it. So prior to putting it back in, be aware that there's two locking tabs here and the unlocking tab at the top. So we need to push those in and then just push the chamber back in so that the valve is free to move within the sleeve. We're making sure that this tab at the top is below the stop. And then there's two lugs inside, which line up with the two grooves on the side of the stem. So what we need to do is pop it back on. We can push that down past the seals. You turn it, you can hear it click. That's where the two lugs have lined up with your two slots. We can then reposition reposition the valve back to the correct height and then lock it back in place. 